Yes, yes, what's going on? It's been long, long, long time. Uh, thanks so much for your supporting, guys. Before me, I start to talk anything. You guys are do better to me, you know. As I can see, people supporting, people commenting, people just uh, make me feel like, yeah, there's are people that are watching me, there's are people that are... Uh, you know, they keeping on looking at, at me as uh, they supporting me and I very appreciate. As I can see now, the viewers is increased and subscriber is increased. So I'm very excited about it. So let me not waste any time. Today in this video, I want to show you how to edit a night video, a night footage. As you can see, we have got... Uh, uh, we've got a uh, Lumix JH4 footage right there. As you can see, I share with the Cine like uh, Cine like D, and it's a very, a very nice camera. If you know about a Lumix, I hope you can understand. And that footage I share at night, and I only used a single light, a LED light, as you can see. I don't know, I, I don't have a much experience about uh, light, but uh, I hope you got it. Yeah, you know, you can you can even check on somebody's app and know about lights. Even me at 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 that shot, I I just begged my 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 fellow director to help me setting light because I don't don't have a a much education about lights. So yeah, as you can see, that footage it's a very dark footage. So what I need to do is to make it bright and to make it clean and to make it uh, looking nice and good and color graded perfectly so today i want to show you how to edit a night footage a footage that are so dark as you can see all right if you never subscribe my youtube channel please i'm just you know uh i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm i'm just reminding you please do that okay as we always do, I already made my knob tree. Today, I, I'm not going to show you how to make a knob tree because I already did it. So right now, I want to show you. I, I, I'm going to start to color grade and yeah. So before I do anything, I started with the frequency separations. As you can see, we've got our subject, which is those two people right there. And we've got our background right there so we need to fix it as i said this is a flat footage everything is flat it has a flat and lined uh image but there is a separation right there but you can't see so we have to make a separation to make our subject popping to make our subject forwards and to make our background stay behind Okay, let me not to waste time. So the first thing that I go do is converting my footage from a flat to rec 709. So what I'm going to do is uh, change my, our color space management, and then I'm going to convert this uh, from yeah, you, as you can see, from cine like to to red white gamma gamut and here to red log three as you can see it's just change see before and after so i make this flat as as if i were used um a red camilla okay and then we bring back to rec 709 no sorry uh our input because we already changed our our output that's our, our input here we go do as the same as you can see and then we tell it so i want you to be rec 709 as you can see boom this is before this is after confession all right i'm always using this process and I always tell you about this. So the next thing that I go do is my balance. So I'm going to increase my saturation. So right now, uh, what I'm doing is just, you know, uh, color correct. So I'm going to increase my saturation and my temperature. 
yeah looking nice and then my exposure because it's too dark so i'm going to work on my exposure and my construct yeah as you can see we beat we beat got something As you can see, this is before and this is after. I'm going to do it a little bit of a faster because I don't want to use, I, I don't want to use much time in this video because we always, always do it this. So I'm going to do it faster. If you keep on, if you, you've been watching my tutorials, you will understand. Okay. Uh, another thing that we go do is uh, playing with the skin tone and our background to separate it so what i'm going to do is using uh the qualif qualifier uh, i remember the recent uh, recent tutorial that i made and uh, somebody told me about that qualifi qualifiers thanks to him he just you know he's he, he's he's just telling me the good the stuff don't work on too much with the qualifier but i want to tell him that uh i'm not to do it in professional way yeah, because I'm not that professional. Also, I'm just do it rush to make my tutorial so faster, as you can see, you know. But uh, yeah, if you are using, uh, if you do color correction, please do not do too much because yeah, if you do too much, you're gonna ruin your whole project or your whole footage. So you just do it a bit. So me, I'm just rushing. That's why you can see, uh, you know, I make it rushing, you know, because this is a tutorial, not that, the way I made my color like this. Okay. Uh, right here. Yeah. As you can see, we already got it. You know, you can play around with this, but to me, I uh, just, I'm running out of our time. That's why I will leave it like this. Oh, you know, and then, oh, sorry. And then what I'm going to do is uh boosting my mid yeah a bit i'm not i'm not i'm 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 not distract or destroy my image do not worry about it if you have been watching my tutorial you understand what i'm doing here and then we're going to reduce opacity and this is this is after you see a little bit not that much and then when we come into the background uh, today I'm going to use this lad uh, it's been a while I never used this lad so let me let me use today uh, um, where is it it's right here yeah it's beautiful right and i love it so in here here we, we we're going to work with our background so what i'm going to do is in our background i'm going to reduce what we call it uh offset to make it you know a bluish i just want a bluish tone to our background and then I'm going to, you know, uh, reduce capacity uh, as usual, 0 0.3. As you can see, this is before, this is after. You see, before, after. You see, and also this is before, this is after. Our skin tone and this is before separation this is after separation as you can see we have nice separation uh, in on to our image so what I'm going to do next is just reduce uh, the light to our background to make it darker yeah this is looking nice I just want my my background to look very dark and then I'm going to boost my skin tone to make it 
brighter. As you can see, we have nice separation. As you can see, it looking very nice and good. This is before, this is after. As you can see, everything is right there. So to our look, to our look, what I'm going to do here is to make my color grading. So I already make a, I already did a separation. So right now I'm going to do a, what we call it. So I'm going to do a glade to IMA. So what I'm going to do in our glade is just boosting our blue to be tier because because this is cinematic uh, color so i'm going to boost my my blue to be tier and then my green to be yellow because we got, we have got our footage in another footage so in, in this video we have another footage that's how we got a green part right there you can't see the green part Okay, and then uh, fix bit a uh, bit of our skin tone. I'm going to fix it a bit, and then to our saturation to our curve. Um, yeah, sorry. To our curve, I'm going to reduce our saturation to our background. Where the color from background we already separate through our uh, uh construct but right now we're going to separate through color so i'm going to reduce everything in a background and leaving our skin tone popping as you can see and also with the luminance i'm going to do the same thing yeah but do not overdo it whenever you overdo it you're going to ruin everything all right, I think this is good. This is before, this is after. You see, not a huge change. You can't see the huge change right there, but it looking nice and good. Okay, in our adjustment, but before before I go so further, so I'm, what I want to do a nice thing is just saturation via saturation to reduce where black, and white so you can see the white is white and the black is black you know yeah interruption of a color this is make our footage looking very clean and another thing is i'm going to use i'm going to do is a, a bit of adjustment and I, uh i've got this I, uh this adjustment lot that i was you uh right it's a red sir as you can see, it's a bit of adjustment. Do not worry, I'm not doing anything in here. I'll just reduce my opacity. And this, this is before, this is after. It's just a bit twisting, you know, to our image. You know, uh, let me reduce a bit. Yeah a bit of adjustment you know this is before and this is after uh, looking nice and good so another thing that we're going to do we're going to do is my very best plugin that i love using in davinci resolve it's a glow it's a very cinematic but it's not necessarily using this plug but to me i will really 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 love using this plug because it's make my footage very dope and yeah I really like it so in here what I'm going to do is increase capacity to see where I want to make my glow glush and then I'm going to change from screen to uh, spotlight uh, yeah where is the spotlight yeah I'm going to change into here and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spread my glow, my glush. And yeah, I want to make it more glowing, you know, and you, the brightest part to be very, very, very bright as a wedding, you know, uh, boosting my brightness, as you can see, and then change my 
white to be yellow yeah and then i'm going to reduce a capacity you know to bring back our image and yeah and play around with the blend a bit and this is before this is after a bit of a change not that much yeah all right so let me just try to check on another footage like this one to see if it's good yeah it's looking nice and good so what we need here is just fixing a bit of our uh, uh what's uh a bit of our uh, exposure like this or maybe to bring back exposure yeah thanks very much and thanks thanks too much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it i hope you've got something i hope you learn it and you know about a color grade uh as long as we keep in moving forward that's we keeping on getting a different result and a different things and learning much and you know boosting our what our, our minds that to know about color grade and color corrections and next videos i go show you how to make a color grade in a simple way so please stay tight subscribe my youtube channel keeping learning this is a uh, kim director kim you can follow me on my instagram uh, coming to my facebook gear there and uh, you can contact me on my whatsapp my number is right there yeah thank you so much if you have got somebody's learning you just share the link uh, so you must see uh the videos and learn much about the color creation and color grading thanks very much this is a kim from diving reserve yeah shout out